Well, this will be the best day that I have uh, been here at Lake of the Pines. So I'm very excited. Uh, we got essentially Bluebird Day, sun up to 60. I'm wearing this right now because it is literally 30 degrees. Uh, but a 30 degree climb for this area today. And uh, I'll tell you, the boat ramp is filled. It's early in the morning, 6.45. And uh, it's cold right now. Everything's iced over on the boat. It's pretty wild. But by the time we leave this, this lake this morning, we're gonna leave probably around noon today. Uh, we're gonna have 60 degree temperatures here. But look, check out this sky. Check it out. It don't get much better than that. So we're gonna go in the timber. And I'm hoping that I can get you some active captain footage. That's finally the one. Man, folks, it just doesn't get any better than this. This is the type of day that you look forward to, man. This is a fantastic lake. We're gonna about to put some big fish in the boat. And uh, you just have to love it. Do me a favor, subscribe. That really helps three pound fishing. Hit that little subscribe button, hit that bell while we take our ride out to our first spot. Lake of the Pines, folks, in Texas. Very special place. Look forward to coming back. Here we go. out here i mean look at that boat's gonna get turned around here shortly you'll get to see this sunrise it is beautiful folks it just never gets old watching a fantastic sunrise in the morning it's just i mean it's just beautiful and on lakes that you're not familiar with it uh it actually has an extremely special meaning it's it's something that you remember forever our first fish oh, man check it out folks that's beautiful so that's got to be a 1.8 anyway I'm using a six pound high vis k9 three pound fishing elite series i'm actually i just have the 10 footer right here right now we're fishing 24 foot down i don't know if it really matters to be honest with you that was fun This is a big fish. I don't know if we got that on active cap. Oh, he got. Here he comes. Come on, baby. Get through there. There he comes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know if we got that on active captain or not, but that is a freaking hammer right there. That is a beautiful fish. So I have to admit, when I got here, I was having some issues with my live scope, and I was—it was all of a sudden I had this 
this blind spot was created and I don't know why it got better throughout this day but I want to show you exactly where this jig is and it's the I guess it stresses the importance of maybe having a secondary weight there so that you can find it so right here where I freeze the frame there is my jig finally showing up and as I go past this freeze frame right here you're gonna see the secondary weight that's how I pick up really quick um, my baits so I'm looking for it it's a trained eye it's time on the water but even though I have this huge blind spot, I'm able to pick up my bait and make sure I position it to the nose of the crappie. Boy, he swallowed that. Not the biggest fish right there, but beautiful. Hey guys, if you haven't checked out the uh, the Facebook group, Livescope, everything you need to know, check it out. We're over 2,300 followers now in such a short period of time so swing over there on Facebook and like that I'd appreciate it you mean a lot to me Oh, baby, that's the big fish of the day so far. Oof. Beautiful. Wow. That is a hammer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boy, they want it. Today is a great day. That is a freaking monster. I don't even know if you can appreciate how beautiful these fish are. This is a black. See if we can get some of the sunlight right there. There's the sunlight. That's a beautiful fish. That is a that is a hoe toad. That is a 1.8 anyway. So check out all the boats here. Check them out. I have a feeling they're gonna stack up big time today. Right now I can see about 20. So throughout these episodes, you're gonna notice that I keep the rod and the line in the water, whereas usually I would pull it out and re-pitch, but because we're fishing so deep, a lot of the movements, a lot of the change where I'm putting the bait at is done by the trolling motor. So little tweaks, little, little adjustments. You're not really being able to see them, but it might be a, an adjustment with the rod, but a lot of times it's me thrusting the trolling motor and putting me in a position near the fish.
should have seen that on active captain there. That was beautiful. That's solid pound and a quarter maybe on that one. Again, not the easiest thing to pick up, but when I slow it down, you'll see the two weights are the, the one weight above the jig and I'm able to pick that up and I know that I'm really close to one of the good marks right there. So I'm just keeping it still. There it goes, lifts off the, the, uh, the tree branch and then boom, we've got our fish. Boy, you really have to put it on their freaking noses. I had that sucker on its nose for <laughs> for a while. About a pound and a half. Good fish, man. So the limit at Lake of the Pines is basically you have to keep your first 25 fish. Does not matter on size, but because we're bringing them up from su such a depth, uh, you're required to keep every fish. So you're trying to, you know, obviously put the bait down there on the biggest fish you can see. Uh, but regardless of what you catch, you're keeping it up to 25. That could be my deepest fish right there. That was 30 foot. And I just, you saw it, I was just putting it right around his head. Look at that bruise on it right there. Wow. He wanted it. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. You guys have got to check out. It's freaking fantastic here. It's just structure fishing at its best. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of comments about where the real best is, but I'm telling you right now, this is a lot of fun. Definitely coming back down here. Also have an invite to Palestine and Lake Fork and some other places. So definitely gonna take the time to experience a lot of these lakes. So one of the things that I did a lot of was pitching and uh, casting to these fish, even though they're 22 foot down. Now I always risked getting hung up and I did lose a lot of baits folks during this entire, this experience here. Not on this particular day, I actually lost probably only about four or five, but overall I lost quite a few. And it, a lot of it has to do with probably this pitching method, but I'm going 22 to 30 foot down. Sometimes you're maneuvering around some structure and, but a lot of times it just got that bait down there quicker and here I am, you know, hooking up with another one. But it was very, uh, it was nice, it was fun, it was easy to target individual fish on limbs, that type of thing. Wow. <laughs> this is just too much fun. Solid fish there.
I don't understand is, I don't understand what these bruises are. So you guys from Texas, tell me what that is about. See how that big bruise? I don't know if that's from them hanging out on the, hanging out on the logs or what, but big area right there. Folks, I've given you a lot of tips and strategies during this episode. Here's another tip. Check out lakeofthepinesfishingreport.com. That's a great resource for finding out where and what's going on on the lake at that particular time. Do me a favor, subscribe, check out that fishing report, and uh, have a great day, folks. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.